All right, for some questions, you're going to be asked about predicting certain values, you know, um, predicting what something might be in the future or, you know, after a certain amount of time or after you've done a certain amount of things. Um, with the predicting values, you're going to need to use the line of best fit, which is why we want to find all that information. All right. Um, also, just a side note, whatever your R value is, your correlation coefficient, if it's strong, then that means that you're making a strong prediction, that the, the outcome that you get when you make the prediction is probably a pretty good one. When you have a weak correlation, especially a very weak correlation, that means that the prediction that you're making basically means nothing. You know, it, that it's a totally bogus prediction. You can put a number out there, but it holds no value. It, it means nothing because it's a weak prediction. Okay, so we use the line of best fit, the y equals ax plus b, which, yes, is similar to the y equals mx plus b, but the calculator just chooses to use a. You're going to plug in the, the value that you're trying to predict for the x, and you'll see what I'm talking about right here when I show you the examples. Your a and your b values may be long decimals. Just go ahead and round those off to two decimal places. For example, if this was one of my values and I had this big long decimal, round it to the first two decimals. Look at your second decimal. It's a four. Take a peek at the third. That's the one that determines whether it stays or goes up. Since this is a six, you bump the four up to a five.